Praise God. Give the Lord a big hand this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Go God. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We honor you this morning and praise you, Father. And Lord, we just thank you for, for the word that I'm about to release. Pues esta palabra, Señor, que tú me diste para tu pueblo. Let's give the praise and worship team a big hand. They always do an awesome job. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Well, praise God. Good morning. I know. It's not a good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, today I want to I wanna just share a little bit of, of what God gave me. It's from Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 through 9. Amen. And, you know, I want to share something, just a little testimony about giving. And sometimes when we don't obey God, when we don't obey God, we lose it. Right? I remember when I first got saved, uh, I was, a, I was a, an ex-altar boy, right? but I was in my teens and I had just got a summer job, and back in 1972, when um, you made $250 a week, that was good, right? And I remember going, me acuerdo que tenía un trabajo y me pagaron 250 a la semana. That was my first check, era mi primer check. And I remember getting saved and going, there was a Catholic nun that was ministering. She, was, she had left the church, and she was ministering, estaba ministrando, and me invitaron a esta iglesia. And, and that's when I got saved. That's when I gave my heart to Christ. It was under her ministry. And the next week, we gathered again, and, and we're all sitting like hippies, right, in a, in a circle, así con, así con las piernas cruzadas, sentadas en el piso. And the Lord said, I want you to give her your check. What? I never heard that before. Nunca había escuchado eso, ¿no? And here's the funny thing. I didn't give it. No se lo di because I didn't know. I said, nah, that's not God. Uh -huh. But what happened was I went to the carnival, and I spent most of it at the carnival. And I didn't even win a teddy bear. No gané nada en el carnaval. I lost it. Amen. When we disobey God, when we hear God saying do something, cuando Dios dice haz algo, hazlo. Do it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your presence here. We thank you for the anointing of your Holy Spirit. Damos por la gracia, tu gracia, Señor, tu, tu uh, unción del Espíritu Santo aquí, Señor. I pray for your anointing over me, Father. I pray for the words that come out that you have given me, que las palabras que tú me das salgan, Padre. En el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Y todos dicen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want to talk a little bit about, about Joshua. I love to read about Joshua. He's a mighty warrior. Un, un guerrero grande, un, a, a powerful man of God, un hombre poderoso de Dios, amen? He was a great leader, un gran leader, you know? And, and his name means God shall save, Dios va a salvar, or it means Yahweh saves, Yahweh salva, or Jehová es salvación. That's what the meaning of his name, amen? But he was a great leader, a great warrior, and, you know, he was a servant of Moses, era un siervo de Moses, amen? A right-hand man, con esa mano, ¿verdad? Era la mano derecha de Moses, y todo lo que decía Moses que haga, he would do it. Él lo decía, ¿verdad? And he helped guide the people. Él ayudó a guiar al pueblo. It was three million people with him. Eran tres millones que salieron de Egipto. And he needed help. Moses needed help. Él necesitaba ayuda y ese hombre le ayudó a Moses. Amen. Él era uno de los dos espías que mandó Moses a, a, a espiar la, la tierra nueva, right? The mil, land of milk and honey. He sent 12. Mandó a 12 y él era uno de ellos. And you know what? He came back. They all came back with a bad report. Ya sabemos que ellos regresaron con un reporte malo. Que hay gigantes en la tierra. Amen. Joshua didn't see the giants. Josué no vio los gigantes. Amen. He saw opportunity. Él vio oportunidad. Amen. He saw God's promise. Él vio la promesa de Dios. Él vio victoria. He didn't see defeat. Él no vio que iba a derrotar, iban a perder. Amen. He saw victory. He came back with a good report. Él regresó con un reporte bueno. And God said it's ours. Dijo, Señor, esa tierra es de nosotros. Amen. Let's go get it. Vamos a ir por ella. Amen. But the people didn't believe God. Pero la gente no le creía a Dios. Amen. You know, today, we have our eyes on the giants. Hoy tenemos nuestros ojos, muchos de nosotros, even here in the church, hasta aquí en la iglesia, tenemos nuestros ojos en los gigantes. Y nos da miedo. And we are afraid. But we shouldn't be afraid, pero no debemos tener miedo. Right? We are more than conquerors, amen. Somos más que vencedores. Y tenemos alguien más grande en nosotros del gigante que está en nosotros, en, en frente de nosotros, right? 
we have a great God in us, amen. We, you know, uh, today we have our eyes on the giants and we hear and believe all the bad news. Todas las noticias malas lo creemos. The world is falling apart. And maybe in the natural it is. Y posible en la natural si está pasando. But in the spirit, we can change things. So, the spirit, podemos cambiar cosas. Amen. Take your giants, take your eyes off the giant. Quita tus ojos de esos gigantes. Todas las noticias malas que está escuchando. Amen. I believe God. Believe God. Amen. And that's what he's saying. Take your eyes off the giants. Let's go get what's ours. Vamos a tomar lo que es de nosotros. Amen. He, I've already promised it to you. Ya te lo había prometido. Everything that Sister Esther talked about this morning are promises from God. Son bendiciones y palabras de Dios que son verdad. Amen. We just need to go get it. Amen. Necesitamos ir por ella. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, Joshua came back with a good report, and he saw the opportunity for God's word to be fulfilled. Él vio la oportunidad que la palabra de Dios se iba a cumplir. Amen. And God said, it is the land that I have given you. He took God's word for real. Él tomó la palabra de Dios que es real. He said, that's my land. This is mi tierra. Amen. And after Moses died, God chose Joshua. Le escogió a Josué para uh, uh, darle liderazgo al pueblo de Israel. He chose him. Amen. And I want you to go with me just to verse 1. Chapter 9, Joshua, chapter 1, verse 1. And it goes like this. God spoke to Joshua. God spoke to Joshua. Wow. So now it came about after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun. The son of Nun. No, that's not true. That's a joke. Okay? Nun. He did have a dad. His name was Nun. Okay. But anyway, dice acá, dice, después de la muerte de Moses, siervo del Señor, Dios le dijo a Josué, hijo de Nun, asistente de Moses. God spoke to him. Isn't it wonderful when God speaks to us? No es algo que te sientes bien when you hear the voice of God que está hablando when he's talking to you. Amen. And God has always spoken with Moses. Siempre hablado con Moses. Amen. And Moses obeyed. Y Moses le obedecía. And did incredible things for God. Hizo cosas maravillas con el Señor. ¿Verdad? He opened the Red Sea, abrió el mar rojo, and the people crossed over, oro y les cayó maná, oro y les dio agua con una roca. I mean, God used him to do incredible things. He heard the voice of God, but now God was speaking to, uh, to Josué. Estaba hablando a Josué, amen. And, and now Moses was dead. The leader was gone. The leader que tenían antes se fue, amen. God spoke to Joshua. He said, I chose you. Yo te escogí. Amen. And he transferred the leadership to, jo to Joshua. Él transfirió el liderazgo a Josué. Amen. And Joshua listened to God. Joshua listened to God. And it's so important when we pray that we listen to God. It's tan importante que cuando oramos, that we listen to God. Que escuchamos a Dios. What is God saying? That's what the word gave me that God gave me this morning. Listen. 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 Escucha. 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 Amen. Joshua, like Moses, he had a good line of communication. Él se comunicaba bien con, con, este, con, con Dios. He listened to God. Amen. He could hear the voice of God. He could escuchar la voz de Dios. Y la conocía. And he recognized that voice. Amen. Have you ever noticed in the Bible? Nunca han notado en la Biblia cuando la leyes? ¿Cuántos leen la Biblia? Okay. 50%. Está bueno. Have you ever noticed in the Bible, God did most of the talking? Dios es el que hablaba más. God did all the talking. The people did all the listening. El pueblo escuchaba, Dios hablaba, y el pueblo escuchaba. Amen. But today, we do all the talking. Hoy, nosotros hacemos todo, hablamos, y queremos que Dios escuche. Right? We ask, we complain, pedimos, y nos quejamos, y todo eso, ¿verdad? And we want God to listen, y queremos que Dios nos escucha. But God is not going to listen to that. Dios no va a escuchar eso. Amen. He's going to turn you away. He's going to, he, he's going to just say no. But, you know, he, Joshua obeyed God. He would listen. You know, and God was very specific. Dios era muy específico en lo que él quería. Este, and there was no room for disobedience. No había lugar para desobediencia ni para, para, para fracaso. No, 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 for, no room for disobedience or failure. Amen. You know, God took Moses home because he struck the rock. Dios se llevó a Moses por desobediencia. They took him out. 
He didn't get to the promised land. No llegó a la tierra prometida. Amen. And I thank God for Jesus Christ who took my place that I can make it home. Amen. Yo sí voy a ir porque Dios me quiere llevar. Amen. Hallelujah. But Joshua listened to God and spoke and he obeyed. When God spoke, Joshua obeyed. Él obedeció. And God said to Joshua, listen, this is some examples. God said to Joshua, this is the way you're going to cross the Jordan. Así vas a cruzar el Jordán. Your priests are going to go to the Jordan. Tus sacerdotes van a ir al Jordán, van a poner sus pies en el río, y el río, el, el río se va a parar de fluir. Tu pueblo, va a cruz, tu pueblo va a cruzar. Amen. You're going to cross to the other side. And just like God said it, it's what happened. Así como dijo Dios, así pasó. Amen. It happened that way. Joshua listened to God. Amen. And, and, and then he said, I'm going to stop the river from flowing, and the people crossed over. Se cruzaron. Amen. And that's what happened. And then he said to Joshua, I have delivered Jericho into your hands. Le dijo, Jericho, está en tus manos, ya te lo di. I've already given it to you. Go get it. Amen. This is the way you will conquer Jericho. Así vas a conquistar a Jericho. Walk around it for six days. Not five, not four, not three. God was specific. Dios era específico en como lo iban a conquistar. Amen. March around the wall six days. Camina seis días alrededor de los muros. Amen. Con las trompetas y la arca atrás de ti. Siguiéndolos. On the seventh day, walk around it seven times. Camina de dos siete veces, amen? Blowing the trumpets, soplando las trompetas, amen? And when your armed men hear the long blast, cuando el, el ejército escucha el, el, la trompeta, la, 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 el sonido largo, dice, comienzan a gritar, start yelling, amen? See, God was specific. He heard what God was saying, and he did what God was saying. Él obedeció, escuchó y obedeció a Dios. And what happened? The walls fell. Cayeron los muros, amen, and Jericho was conquered. He conquistó a Jericho. See, God wants to speak to us just like he did to Joshua. He wants to speak to you and me. Dios quiere hablar contigo conmigo así como habló con Josué. Amen. God still speaks. You may not believe it. Posiblemente no lo creas, but Dios todavía habla. Amen. God still speaks. Hallelujah. Amen. But he won't do it unless we praise him and worship him first and get into his presence. Amen. Necesitamos llegar a su presencia. Amen. Give him a chance to speak. Dale la oportunidad que hable. Job started talking. Job. Comenzó a hablar con, comenzó a hablar con Dios y se quejó, quejó un poquito, ¿no? And God said, where were you when I created all this? ¿Dónde estabas cuando yo creí todo esto? Amen. Do you understand how it works? ¿Tú entiendes cómo funciona todo lo que hice? ¿Tú estabas allí? Job had no answers. Él no tenía respuesta. Amen. But God has all the answers. Amen. And when we listen, he gives you the answer. Cuando escuchamos, él nos da la respuesta. We need to stop doing all the talking. Amen. And let God speak and listen. Debemos de callar y escuchar a Dios. Get into his presence and listen to what God has to say. Ponte la presencia de Dios y escucha lo que dice Dios. The Bible says, hear what the Spirit has to say. Escucha lo que el Espíritu te quiere decir. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 2. Verse 2, brother. Hmm. And he said, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise. Mi esclavo Moses ha muerto. Levántate pues ahora. Get up. Get up. Get up. Arise. Amen. Get ready. Prepárate. That's what God is saying. Get ready. Get up. Arise. Get up. Don't stay down. Amen. Moses is gone. I chose you. Moses ya se fue. Te escuché, te escuché a ti. Amen. I chose you. I chose you as a leader. Te escogí como, como líder. Amen. It's your time, Joshua. For many of you, it's your time. Pero ahorita es tiempo de nosotros también. You see, God didn't just choose Joshua, but every day God is choosing people. Todos los días Dios está escuchando, escucha, este, escogiendo al pueblo. He wants people to serve him. Quiere que el pueblo sirva. To serve him, amen. I chose you to do this and to take him to the promised land. Llévalos a la tierra prometida. See, God's people have been crushed. El pueblo de Dios, like Sister Esther was saying this morning, have been crushed. Aplastados. El pueblo de Dios, they're trying to do that even now. Nos quieren aplastar hasta hoy, amen. But it's time to rise up. It's time for the church to rise up. Es tiempo que la iglesia se levante. And take territory, amen. Stop saying down. No te quedes tirado en el piso. Levántate, amen. God made us the heads and not the tails. Él nos hizo la cabeza y no la cola, amen. He made us above and not beneath. Él nos hizo para estar arriba y no abajo. That's who we are, amen. 
We're not a bunch of nobodies. We're the children of the Most High God. Somos hijos de Dios. No somos na- que digan que somos nadie. And we are a force. Somos una fuerza. Amen. We are a force that God chooses to serve him. Amen. Una fuerza que Dios nos dio, que Dios está en nosotros para servirle. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to raise up. Rise up. Amen. I had something, a, a really good experience this, this week. Tuve una experiencia muy bonita esta semana. Fui a visitar un amigo. And I say this to the glory of God, but he was hurting. Él estaba lastimado. He was hurting and there was nobody there to help him. No había nadie. And I show up at this office. And, and he sees me. And I, I shook his hand and said, I, w- I want to give you a bottle of oil because I want you to anoint your office. Quiero que unges tu, tu oficina. And then he just said, brother, I was praying. Estaba orando que Dios me mandara alguien para orar por mí. I'm going to a hard time right now. Wow. He was going. Figure out how God heard the prayer. Amen. And you know what? God wants us to be able to do things for him. Quiere que hagamos cosas para él. But he said he was, he was marveled. Estaba, wow, Dios me mandó alguien. I just asked him right now. Estaba en lágrimas. He was crying. He was hurting. Estaba lastimado. Amen. But God said it's time to rise. That man, he said, all I feel is the anointing. When I was praying for him, he said, todo lo que siento es la unción. I just feel the anointing. I just feel the anointing. I just feel the anointing. That's all he could talk about. La presencia de Dios, la unción de Dios cayó sobre él y le dio paz. It gave him peace. Amen. It returned. He was able to do what he had to do. Tuvo que, tu, pudo cumplir lo que quería hacer. Amen. God's, God worked in him that day. Amen. Stop staying down. Amen. God has made us to be the head. He doesn't want us down. He wants us up. Amen. Hallelujah. Stop staying stuck. And you know what? Stop staying stuck in the same place. No te quedes atorado en el mismo lugar. Move forward. Aunque sea una pulgada al día o al mes, al año, but move forward. Muevete adelante. Amen. Stop staying stuck. It's time to arise and it's time to move forward. Amen. It's time to move forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Right now, we are being oppressed. Estamos como cristianos, estamos oprimidos. Like Sister said, we're, they're trying to shut us down. Quieren cerrar las iglesias, amen. They're trying to do all kinds of nasty stuff to the church. I just read something about a, about a university in, uh, in England, una universidad en Inglaterra, que no pueden decir Christmas porque tienen la palabra de Cristo allí. And that was one of the nations that was really powerful for God. Era una nación antes que estaba bien fuerte para el Señor. They loved God. But they've lost it. Amen. Now you can't say Merry Christmas because it has Christ. Porque tiene la palabra de Cristo allí. That's terrible. Amen. Our righteous Christians are being invaded. Están invadiendo nuestros derechos. To accept those things that are God, against God's word. Son cosas que aceptamos las cosas que no son de Dios. They want to promote sin and say it's okay. Están promoviendo la, la maldad y el pecado y diciendo que está bien. And you know what? They say that if you say a lie long enough, the people will believe it. Que si tú dices una mentira, una mentira bastante, te la van a creer. So right now I'm telling you it's a lie. Amen. What's happening right now is a lie. Amen. The sin is not the, do- the norm. Amen. Time, right now it's a time to rise up. Amen. It's time to rise up. Amen. The devil puts all kinds of barriers and walls. Él pone barreras y paredes. No entrar al reino de Dios. He doesn't want us to cross over. No quiere que crucemos al otro lado, al Jordán. Amen. Laws are passed. No more prayer in school. We saw that. Ya no hay oración en la escuela. Coaches. Los coaches cuando hincan a orar en la, en la cancha de fútbol, los despiden. Can't do that. No pueden hacer eso. Amen. Don't say Merry Christmas. Say Happy Holidays. You got to bake a cake for those guys. Tienes que hacer ese pastel por ellos, aunque tú no estás de acuerdo. Si no te multamos o te echamos al bote. Those are laws that are being passed. They're attacking your rights and mine. Están atacando los derechos tuyos y míos. Amen. So it's time for us to rise up and say, no more. No más. Say it with me. No more. No más. Amen. This has to stop. Hallelujah. It has to stop. Amen. You know, the Bible says that after Peter denied Christ, Pedro renegó a Cristo tres veces. Dijo, yo no lo conozco. I don't know him. Amen. But then he was filled with the Holy Ghost. He said, Espíritu Santo lo llenó. And what happened? People thought he was drunk. Pensaban que estaban ebrios allá arriba a las nueve de la mañana. 
que tiene una fiesta grande. Amen. But he rose up. Él se levantó. He, he rose up and he said, hey, and he began to preach and he cut their heart. Pues comenzó a predicar, les entró la palabra de Dios en sus corazones. 3,000 got saved that day. Amen. 3,000 se salvaron ese día. Amen. He took territory. He took ground. He was filled with power. Amen. But then he was locked up for preaching. Ya no se daron por predicar. After healing a man, sanando un hombre, they tried to stop him, tratando, trataron de pararlo. They said, you can't preach in that name. Ya no puedes predicar en ese nombre. Here's a man who denied Christ, and then he was filled with the Holy Ghost, and he's preaching and ministering. Está predicando y ministrando, y la gente está sanando. And they said, you can't preach in that name. No puedes predicar en ese nombre. I want you to say it with me, that name. Quiero que digas este nombre conmigo. Jesús. 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 Hallelujah. That's the most powerful name in heaven, on earth, and the earth below. El nombre más fuerte en la tierra, en el cielo, en la tierra abajo. Amen. The most powerful. Demon, demons tremble and flee. The demonios huyen. And I can tell you right now, there's no devils here. Ha. Ha. There's no devils here. But Peter answered. Amen. Hallelujah. We're always going to preach in that name. Peter answered in Acts chapter 4. He said, which is right in God's eyes? To listen to you or to him? You know, there's some cities that I had a ministry. Yo tenía un ministerio antes que íbamos de puerta a puerta. Tocábamos puerta and we would lead people to Christ. Damos folleto, se entregaban al Señor. We saw miracles. We saw healing. We called cancers healed. All kinds of things taking place. But now there's some cities that if you ring the bell, you can go to jail. Ya no puedes hacer eso. You know, so they're putting, they're trying to limit us in what we can do. But Peter, but Peter said, hey, as for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Amen. He said, nosotros no podemos dejar de hablar de lo que hemos visto o oído. We've seen Jesus do the miraculous. We've heard him preach the gospel. We've seen him do miracles. Amen. Hemos visto que Cristo haga milagros, que predique la palabra. We've seen the miracles, amen. You know what? It's time to rise up and it's time to share the word. Es tiempo de levantarnos y compartir la palabra. Not to be afraid. Amen. It's time for us to get our families saved, amen. To help the hurting like this man. I'm telling you, there's people out there that need us. Hay gente allí en el pueblo que nos necesita. They need us, amen. Staying on verse 2, it says that God keeps his promises. God keeps his promises. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise and go over the Jordan, thou and all his people, into the land which I do give to them. He'd already given it to them. Ya se los había dado hace 40 años atrás. But they didn't believe. Amen. La tierra que yo les doy hoy a los hijos de Israel. He'd already given it to them. Amen. But they just didn't believe. He gave them the land of milk and honey. Esa, esa tierra. De miel, de leche y miel. Take it. Tómalo, dice. Es tuyo. Amen. And go get it. But they didn't believe him. Pero no le creyeron. And all the people who didn't believe didn't make it to the promised land. Los que no creyeron, no le hicieron la tierra prometida. They didn't believe God. And that happens today when we don't believe God. Amen. We're not going to make it home. Si no le creemos a Dios, we're not going to make it home. Amen. God makes promises and he keeps them. Él cumple con su palabra. Amen. His word. He is faithful and true. Él es fiel. That's his name. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, he is faithful and true. Es fiel y verdadero. Amen. God makes a promise and he keeps it. That's it. That's una promesa. Maybe he gave you a word this morning. He's going to complete that word. Él va a cumplir esa palabra. Amen. Numbers 23, 19. El número 23, 19. I don't know if you can put that up real quick, but Numbers. It says, he is not a man that he should lie. No es un hombre que puede mentir. Amen. Joshua 21.45. Joshua 21.45. In English it says, not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. Amen. Dios Dice, y ninguna sola de las buenas uh, promesas del Señor a favor de Israel dejó de cumplirse, sino que cada una se cumplió al pie de la letra. Every word, every promise that God makes, 
is completed. Amen. He will complete it. Amen. They all come to pass. Todas las palabras se cumplieron. Amen. Joshua 23, 14. I'm just going to read that. It says that not one word has failed. Ninguna palabra ha fracasado. Amen. All have come to pass. Todos han, se han cumplido. Not one of them has failed. Ninguna ha fracasado. God's word is true. Amen. And when he promises something, he will complete it. Cuando él te promesa algo, lo va a cumplir. Amen. He's going to complete it. He, has he given you a word today? Has he given you a word in the past? ¿Te ha dado una palabra antes? Amen. You better believe it. Amen. If he's given you a word of healing, believe it. ¿Te ha dado una palabra de sanidad? Créelo. Amen. Receive it. Believe it. Amen. Has he given you a word of prosperity? Receive it. Amen. And believe it. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil take it from you. No dejes que el diablo te lo tome esa palabra. Créalo, believe it, amen. Don't let doubt and fear into you. Que no dejes el temor y todo eso que te entre, amen. Hold on to the promise until it is completed. Hasta que se cumple la palabra. So many times we give up. We turn, we quit. God's not going to do it. Let me tell you, God will do it. Dios lo va a hacer, amen. It may look like nothing is happening, but God is doing something. Parece que nada está pasando in the natural, in the natural. Parece que nada está pasando. But you don't know what God is doing in the supernatural. You don't know what God is doing in the background. No sabes lo que está haciendo, está haciendo en lo sobrenatural. God doesn't just work in the natural. He works in the supernatural. He works in the spiritual. Amen. He trabaja en lo espiritual. And he is never late. Y nunca llega tarde. Nunca llega tarde. Amen. You know, sister gave me a word in 1991. She said, you're coming back to Laredo. I said, I'm not. Dijo que no, no voy a regresar a la dedo. No me gustaba, me fue muy mal. ¿Verdad? But then I still held on to her promise. I held on to the promise that the word had given me about coming back. 16 years later. It wasn't like the next day. It was 16 years later that God sent me back here. God completed his word. Amen. Dios cumplió con su palabra. Amen. Yes. And I'm still waiting for the rest of it because it's coming. Amen. Porque lo demás viene. Amen. So we have to believe God's word when God makes us a promise. Number four, I just say, amen, he's faithful. Go to, verse, uh, go to Joshua 1, verse 3, bro. And it says in English, it says, Every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon to you I have given it. Este, dice, uh, verse 3, Joshua 1, 3. Tal como lo prometí a Moses, yo les entregaré a ustedes todo lugar que toquen sus pies. Wow. Isn't that powerful? Isn't that powerful? This is, that's power, man. This is poder de Dios. Amen. Every place the sole of your feet shall tread upon, to you have I given it. Yo te la dao. I've given you that property. I've given you that land. I've given what you need. Te lo doy, te lo doy, te lo doy, donde tú pongas tus pies. That's a promise from God. Es una promesa de Dios. Amen. Wherever Joshua took him, donde llevaba Josué, ese era territorio de Dios. Amen. That was their property. That was their ground. In prayer one day, una vez estaba orando, me dice, Señor, hey, donde tú pongas tus pies es tu territorio. That's your ground. That's your territory. Amen. That's your ground. So I would go to H-E-B. I said, this is my ground. This is my territory. Amen. I would go to the school. I said, this is my ground. This is my territory. And I put that on Facebook, and I got a girl from Victoria. She said, I like that. I, that's, I'm going to go claim my ground right now. This is my ground. My feet are here, and this is my place. Spiritually, amen. We conquer spirits. Conquistamos espiritualmente, amen. This is a promise from God, amen. That is your territory. Wherever you put your feet, your house is your ground. Tu casa es tu territorio. It's not the devil's. It's your ground, Amen. Hallelujah. I would, lie, I would go to the grocery store and I would claim it. Amen. You know, the schools don't belong to God. To the devil. The schools don't belong to the devil. Las escuelas no son del diablo. Amen. He's trying to steal them. Las quiere robar. Amen. They belong to us. Amen. Esas son de nosotros. Las escuelas son de nosotros. Amen. That's our territory. Ese es territorio de nosotros. It belongs to us. Amen. You know, my wife and I work in a school. And we pray every morning in the parking lot. Every morning before we go. Antes de entrar a la escuela, oramos en el carro. We pray for God to move, que el Espíritu Santo esté allí, amen, that he goes before us, que vaya antes de nosotros. And let me tell you what happened the other day, unheard of. We had a young man, he leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Él nos, nos, nos lleva con el juramento de la bandera, ¿no? que todos lo decimos. Y, 
And then we meditate on prayer. Ya meditamos, dice, now you can meditate on prayer. Over the intercom for the whole school to hear, they said, God bless you. And may the Holy Spirit touch you. I said, wow. Whew. You know what? God is moving. That's our ground. That's this territory de nosotros. God is moving where we are. God can move and will move where you are. Dios se va a mover donde tú estás. Wherever you are, if it's in school, if it's at work, if it's at home, if it's tu casa, la escuela, donde sea, Dios se va a mover. Amen. Hallelujah. I was, my, my boss looked at me and he was shocked. Mi jefe me vio a mí y ya así con la boca abierta. I said, wow. Me too. Said, wow. Where did that come from? ¿De dónde vino eso? <laughs> it was the Spirit of God there. El Espíritu de Dios que estaba allí. Amen. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know, every time the church goes to pray, Sister Esther says, go here, go there. Amen. Go to the riverbank. Go to the border. Amen. Go to the, go to, go to the courthouse. Amen. Go to the schools. Anda la escuela. Anda la corte. Anda allí al río. Vamos a orar allí. We're taking territory. We're taking ground. Estamos tomando posesión de la tierra. Amen. That is ours. That belongs to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, when my son goes to pitch, you know, he's a baseball player. He pitches. And I pray with him. Ora por él. Y le digo, when you put your foot on that mound, cuando tú pones tu pie sobre esa loma, ese es tu territorio. And you know what? God has blessed it. That's his ground. Dios lo ha bendecido allí. Amen. And he's done a great job. I praise God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 5 real quick. Brother. I'm going to finish up here in just a minute. Verse 5. And says, there shall not be any man able to stand before thee at all in the days of, uh, of, of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. Durante todos los días de tu vida, nadie será capaz de enfrentarse a ti. Así como estuve con Moses, también estaré contigo. No te dejaré, ni te abandonaré. That's a promise from God. He will never abandon or forsake you. Isaiah 41.10 says the same thing. Yo no te voy a abandonar. No te voy a dejar. I'm always with you. Even when you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, aunque estás caminando por esa valle de sombra, yo estoy allí. I am there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand there. Hallelujah. God, God, God made Joshua that promise. And that promise is for us today. Amen. I will be with you like I was with Moses. Can you imagine the same God that was with Moses, the same God that was with Abraham, the same God that was with Joshua is with us? Amen. That's an awesome God. Es un Dios fuerte, poderoso. Amen. God made that promise. I will never abandon or forsake you. Nunca te voy a abandonar ni desamparar. No man will be able to stand before you. Pharaoh couldn't stand before Moses. Amen. Faraón no se pudo parar ante Moisés. God destroyed him. El Señor lo, 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 lo destruyó. <laughs> Amen. Joshua defeated 31 kings. There was 31 kings that tried to stand in front of him. Josué tuvo que pelear con 31 reyes. And he beat them all because God was with him. Porque Dios estaba con él. Amen. Hallelujah. He will never abandon you in the battle. Never, never, never abandon you in the battle. Amen. He is always with us. Siempre está con nosotros. Amen. You know, today we have demonic rulers. I, 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 este, principales. There's principalities and powers. Poderes de la oscuridad que están contra nosotros. Amen. They're coming after our children. Vienen sobre nuestros hijos, nuestros matrimonios, nuestros, our health, amen. nuestra salud, nuestras finanzas, nuestras escuelas. Amen. Our Bibles and prayer. This devil wants us bad. Este diablo nos quiere. Amen. He wants to destroy everything that God made. Quiere destruir todo lo que hizo Dios. Amen. They think they can defeat us. Piensan que nos pueden de, uh, este destruir. But they can't do it. And just like God was with Moses, he's just like God was Joshua, God is with us. El Señor está con nosotros. We don't have to fear the devil. We don't have to fear what's going on. No tenemos que temer nada de eso. Amen. Whatever you battle today, don't be afraid. Lo que tú estás batallando hoy, no le tengas miedo. God is with you. Señor está contigo. Amen. You already have the victory. You have la victoria. Jesus brought us the victory. Jesus nos trajo esa victoria. Nothing can stop us from getting the victory. No man can stand before you. 
No hay ningún hombre que se pueda poder adelante de ti. I see injustice happen. Yo veo la injusticia que está pasando en estos lugares. But God won't permit it. Pero Dios no lo va a permitir. Amen. He brings down those strongholds. He brings down pride. El orgullo lo tumba. And I'm not going to say any more about that. Amen. But whatever your battle is, don't be afraid. You already have the victory. Amen. Because our battles are not ours. They're whose? They're his. Amen. Amen. The last thing I'm going to talk about is God wants us to be successful. He told Joshua, I want you to be successful, Joshua. Le dijo, yo creo que tengas éxito, Josué. Amen. It says in verse 6. He said, be strong and of good courage. For you shall cause this people to inherit the land which I swear unto the fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous to observe, to do according all the law which Moses my servant commanded. Don't turn to the right or to the left. Amen. No te volteas. Don't, don't be looking around. Amen. That thou may have good success wherever you go. Amen. Sea fuerte y valiente, porque tú harás que este, uh, este pueblo herede la tierra que les prometí a sus antepasados. Go, go more, pa. So, Solo te pido que tengas mucho valor y firmeza para obedecer toda la ley que mi siervo Moisés te mandó. No te apartes de ella para nada. Solo así tendrás éxito donde quiera que vayas. Amen. When you keep your eye on God's word, cuando tú pones tu palabra, tu mirada sobre Dios y su palabra, vas a tener éxito. You are going to have success. Amen. Be strong and of good courage. God said, be strong. Ponte fuerte. Ponte firme. Amen. Ponte firme. He says it twice, and then he says it again. Dice dos veces, y ahí dice otra vez, la tercera vez. Ponte firme. Sea valiente. Amen. The battles are tough. Las batallas están duras. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we don't have to be afraid. He doesn't want us to be afraid. He doesn't want us to be weak. No quiere que seamos débiles ni tener temor. Amen. The devil, our adversary, should be afraid of us. El diablo debe tener miedo de nosotros. Amen. He ought, you know what? The devil ought to know who you are. El diablo debe saber quién eres tú. He said, I know Jesus and I know Paul, but I don't know you. Yo conozco a Jesús y conozco a Pablo, pero a ti no te conozco. Why? Because you're not showing him who you are. Porque no le está enseñando quién eres tú. We need to show him who we are. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give you an example of that. He said, when Joshua invaded Jericho, he sent two spies. Cuando invadieron a uh, Jericho mandó dos espías y se encontraron con una mujer Rahab, 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 and she told them, "We know that God sent you. Sabemos que Dios los mandó. We have heard what God has done for you. Wow, hemos escuchado lo que Dios ha hecho por ti. Our people are afraid of you. Nuestro pueblo, nuestro ejército te tiene miedo." And it says they are melting away with fear. That's the way the devil ought to be with us. They say, muertos de miedo. That devil ought to be afraid of us, amen. When we pray and we seek God, he needs to run. He needs to flee, amen. Debe de huir, correr, amen. And you know what? And when we pray together, he says one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand. When we pray together, even more fear. Cuando oramos juntos, hasta más temor le da. Amen. Hallelujah. They were melting away with fear. Tenían miedo, muertos de miedo, dice la, la mujer Rehab. You know, the enemy knows how powerful our God is. El enemigo sabe y conoce qué tan poderoso es nuestro Dios. And that God lives in here. Ese Dios vive aquí adentro. Amen. So we are powerful too. Nosotros también tenemos el poder. Amen. Hallelujah. Do we believe that God is powerful? Creemos que Dios es fuerte y poderoso. Amen. He is. Do we trust him? Confiamos en Él, you bet, amen. God wants us to trust Him, amen. So keep our eyes on Him. Poner nuestras miradas sobre Él y su palabra. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, because when you do, you get lost. No veas a la izquierda ni a la derecha porque te pierdes cuando haces eso. Don't do that, amen. Stay focused, ponte tu enfoque en Dios, amen. He wants us to trust Him and keep our eyes on Him and His Word, Amen. And he said, this will make you successful when you do that. Yeah. Esto te va al éxito cuando tú haces eso. And I'm going to finish with this. I'm gonna finish, I don't know if I can get the musicians up. 
I'm going to finish with this conclusion. Say, I want to close with this. God wants, to be, wants you to be successful and to be prosperous. Dios quiere que seas, tengas éxito y que prosperes. How do we do that? ¿Cómo hacemos eso? Go to verse 8, brother, please. Verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate thereon day and night. You want to be successful? You want to prosper? How many want to be successful? How many want to prosper? ¿Cuántos quieren prosperar? How many want your business to prosper, your family to prosper, your children to prosper? ¿Cuántos quieren que sus hijos prosperen, tu familia, tu negocio prospere? I do. I want my sons to be successful. I want to be successful. I want my wife to be successful. I want everybody here to be successful. Amen? Que todos tenemos este éxito y que, y que prosperemos, to prosper. Amen? He says, recita siempre el libro de la ley y medita en él de día y de noche. Cumple con, con cuidado todo, carefully, con cuidado todo lo que uh, en él está escrito. Así prosperas, prosperarás y tendrás éxito. When you meditate on God's word, and you know what? He's talking about declaring God's word. Don't let it stop coming out of your mouth. No dejes que pare de fluir la palabra de Dios en tu boca. Let it go. Whatever promise he's given you, release the promise. Cualquier promesa te ha dado Dios, suéltala. Release it. Amen. Release that power. Suelta ese poder. Amen. Don't let it depart from your mouth. Amen. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. God watches that word when you release it. Él ve esa palabra cuando tú la sueltas. And you know what he says? I watch over it to perform it. Yo pongo, cuando tú declaras esa palabra, dice Dios está viendo para que se haga. Él cumpla con sus promesas. Amen. God wants to bless you today. God wants to bless you today. You just need to meditate on God's word. Amen. You know what? For that word to become alive, para que esa palabra esté viva en nosotros. Amen. So it becomes real to us. Que se haga una realidad en nosotros. Amen. When we get the vision of the miracle, cuando venga ese milagro de la, esa visión del milagro se va a cumplir. Amen. Meditate on my word. Oh, when you eat, when you eat, how many go to eat fajitas y le masticas nomás una vez y te lo comen? Nah, you chew it, you chew it, you chew it. Hasta destacas todo el jugo. Sácale todo el jugo a la palabra de Dios. Amen. Take all the juice out of that word, amen. Ha, he said, if you're hungry and thirsty, I will give it to you, amen. I will fill you. I will fill you, amen. God wants to fill you with power. He wants to fill you with his word, amen. You know, God wants to do miracles. He still speaks and he still does miracles today. Él quiere hablar y todavía quiere hacer milagros. Don't limit what God wants to do. No le pongas límite a Dios. Release the word of God and meditate on him. Hallelujah. What is God saying to you today? ¿Qué te está diciendo yo soy? I'm just going to recap. Voy a decirte algo. God wants you to listen to him. Let him speak. Dios quiere que tú lo escuches. Déjalo hablar. Amen. He wants you to rise up. Dice, levántate. Get up. Amen. You are, not the, you are, you are the head you are, and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. Es arriba y no abajo. Trust him. Amen. Because he keeps his promises. Él cumple con su palabra. He will never forsake you. Nunca te vas a empalar. He will always be there. Siempre va a estar allí. God wants us to be successful. That's God's desire. God's desire. Do you think God desires to make you a failure? ¿Tú quieres que el deseo de Dios es que seas un fracaso? No. God wants to prosper you. He wants you to be successful. That's a promise from him. And whatever we do and wherever we go, God wants to bless us. Amen. God wants to bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know. I don't know what anybody's going through here right now. You know? But I know that you can trust God. You can trust his promises. You know? Maybe you are down. Maybe you feel like you're being crushed. Maybe no one was there to listen to you. Posiblemente se sientas oprimido. Que nadie te escucha. Nadie, nadie con que ore por ti. We're here today. Aquí estamos hoy para orar por ti. We're here to help you stand up, to get up, to rise up. Vamos aquí para ayudarte a levantarte. And I don't know if anybody needs prayer this morning, but the altars are open. Los altares están abiertos para orar. Amen. And if you don't know the Lord, I think everybody here does, but if you don't know the Lord, 
the door is open. He says, I knock on your heart's door. If you open, I will live with you. If you need him, today will be a good day. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Hoy es el día de salvación. Amen. Like I say, we do a lot of talking to God. We do a lot of talking to God. It's time to listen. What is God saying? What is God saying? God wants to do something for you today. I can tell you that. And if you need somebody to pray for you, please come. Please come. Can I get some prayer uh, prayer intercessors for the intercessors to come up? Hallelujah. Maybe you're struggling with your faith. And you need a word from God. Amen. Ah, there's people here that can give it to you. There's people here that can help you and bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. We just thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Father. Hallelujah. God already knows. Dios ya sabe. And He can set you free from that. He can heal you today. He can set you free. Te puede liberar, te puede sanar. Whatever it is you're struggling with, He can do it. Amen. Hallelujah.